Hello students, in this lecture we are going to discuss two special kind of chromosomes called salivary gland chromosomes and lamb brush chromosomes. Let us first discuss what are salivary gland chromosomes. These are also called as polyteen chromosomes and giant chromosomes. They are observed in fruit fly drosophila. You can see the picture of fruit fly in this uh, slide and the salivary gland chromosomes they are uh, very large in size that is why they are called as giant chromosomes why they are called polyteen chromosomes we will discuss in subsequent slides and uh, the special feature of salivary gland chromosomes is that you also see some chromosomal puffs which are called Balbiani rings like this is a chromosomal puff and uh, you see alternate light and dark bands in salivary gland chromosomes. So here in both this picture which is uh, stained pink and this picture which is stained blue these are of salivary gland chromosomes. So let us discuss what are the features of salivary bands. gland chromosomes. They were first discovered by Balbiani, e.g. Balbiani in salivary glands of dipteran insects and they may reach a size up to 200 times compared to ordinary mitotic cells. It means that when you compare it with other chromosomes which are found in other parts of the uh, organism uh, dipteran in insects and you compare the size with the salivary gland chromosomes, they are much smaller compared to these chromosomes that is why they are also called as giant chromosomes. The third point is that they are somatically paired. So the number of chromosomes in salivary gland appears half the normal somatic cells. It means that uh, say because this was say uh, the number of chromosomes are 8 in drosophila. Uh, so in other somatic cells we will find 8 chromosomes but in salivary gland we will see only 4 chromosomes. The fourth feature is that they have distinct alternate chromatic and achromatic region which are known as heterochromatin and euchromatic region. Heterochromatin is when the gene is inactive and uh, the euchromatin is when the gene is active or the DNA is actively synthesizing RNA. Now the fifth point is that they have occasional puffs which are called Balbiani rings which you have just seen in the previous picture. Sixth point is that polyteen chromosomes arise as a result of endo reduplication. It means that the chromosomes keeps on duplicating but due to suppression of the spindle fiber formation they are unable to separate from each other and so they <coughs> attain a very thick structure and very long structure. In female Rosophila the giant chromosomes are found in the form of five long and one short arm radiating from chromocenter and one long strand corresponds to X chromosome and the remaining four long strands are arms of second and third chromosome. We will understand this with the help of the diagram in next few slides. In male flies the Y chromosome is also fused within the chromocenter and therefore not seen as separate strands. So let us discuss this in the next few pictures. This is a picture showing salivary gland chromosomes in female Drosophila melanogaster and if you uh, know that Drosophila has 8 chromosomes. Now these 8 chromosomes because this is these chromosomes here uh, you can see that there are 8 chromosomes. Let us discuss how these 8 chromosomes are arranged in Drosophila, female Drosophila. So say this is your 2 pairs of, these are 2 homologous chromosomes of second chromosome. Then this is, these are this chromosome and this chromosome, this is third pair of chromosomes. This dot like structures are very small, fourth pair of chromosome and this 
two are your X chromosomes. Now in salivary gland what happens that the chromosomes keeps on duplicating but due to suppression of the spindle fiber they are unable to separate each other so the fibrils keep on adding and they are unable to separate. So this second chromosome now you can see that this has attained a thick structure and a long structure and it has two arms upper arm and lower arm like this. Similarly, if you see this pair of chromosome will also duplicate and very will become very thick like this. So say this is your third pair of chromosome and this is a fourth pair of chromosome which is small chromosome. Then the sixth chromosome again the endo reduplication will occur and your fibrils keep on adding but unable to separate. So now if you see these each chromosome which was present in the form of bivalence these eight chromosomes are now we can see only four chromosomes because the fibrils are so many in number that we are unable to uh, differentiate between the bivalence. So this type of structure appears in mitotic metaphase chromosome and in this you can see that there are these are the two arms of your the, this this is your two arm this is one arm of second chromosome and this is your second arm of second chromosome so arms of chromosome 2 means that this is one arm of chromosome 2 and this is the second arm of chromosome 2 now similarly here you can see that uh, these are arms of this arm and this arm is arm of chromosome 3 and this is the arm of chromosome X. So if you see the centromere of all these chromosomes they are joined together here to form an amorphous mass which is called as uh, chromocenter. So this was and when you see the close view of these chromosomes you see alternate light and dark mass. So this is how the salivary gland chromosome looks. Uh, when we make a preparation from the salivary male chromosome and the same uh, you, you can see that there are five long radiating arms which belong to uh, 2R means that this is right arm of second chromosome 2L means that these are left arm of this is left arm of second chromosome 3L means left arm of third chromosome and 3R means left arm of third uh, uh, right arm of third chromosome X means that X, this is your X chromosome. So all these chromosomes are somatically paired. That is why they are just half of the number which is seen in the other parts of the cell and all the centromere joins together to form chromocenter. So why these are called polyteen chromosomes? Because they are formed as a result of polyteny or endoreduplication and they are called giant chromosomes because they are very large in size. They are called polyteen chromosomes. Uh, they are called salivary gland chromosomes because they are found in salivary glands of dipteran insects. So, these giant chromosomes though commonly found in salivary glands but they have also been found in malphigian tubules, fat bodies, ovarian nerve cells, uh, gut epithelia and some other tissues. Now, here you can see two pictures. This is, this I have already explained that this is, this is female Drosophila having two X chromosomes and this is male Drosophila having X and Y sex chromosome. When you see the salivary gland chromosomes, the structure is similar. They have five long radiating arms and a chromocenter which, which is actually an amorphous mass which is formed because of joining of all the centromere of all the chromosomes. Now in female Drosophila melanogaster, the giant chromosomes are found in form of five long and one short strand radiating from chromocenter and one long strand corresponds to X. So here you can see that this is a corresponding to X chromosome and the remaining four long strands which are one, two, three and four. These remaining four long strands are the arms of second and third chromosome. In male Rosophila, Y chromosome is also fused with the chromocenter and therefore not seen as a separate strand. Still we can see that, that there are one 
two, three, four, and five uh, long strands in the male Drosophila. And these light and dark bands, these are your uh, achromatic and chromatic region, which represents heterochromatin and euchromatin. And we you, we also find chromosomal puffs, which are called Balbiani rings, because it was first of all discovered by Balbiani. Now let us discuss what are lamb brush chromosomes. Lamb brush chromosomes are chromosomes uh, because they appear like lamb brush. In front of you, this is a chromosome which is uh, looking like a lamb brush. Lamb brush which uh, in earlier times this brush was used to clean the uh, lambs. That is why this is known as lamb brush chromosomes because they have structure similar to the brush. Now what are these in this picture in front of you it is representing a bivalent bivalent means that these are two homologous chromosomes and uh, let us discuss what are the features of lamb brush chromosomes this was first discovered in oocytes of shark and also in spermatocytes of some insects like drosophila they are meiotic chromosomes and they are easily isolated from oocytes in diplotene stage uh, in cells and these homologues are seen as synapse cells held together by chiasma. It means that the, we can see this condition in diplot uh, lambrish uh, chromosomes are seen during crossing over stage in diplotene stage and lambrish chromosomes are often extended to the length of a 500 to 800 micrometers. And later in meiosis, they revert to normal length of 15 to 20 micrometers. When you compare it with the salivary gland chromosomes, they are much larger than salivary gland chromosomes. Uh, the sixth point is a pair of loops arise from each chromosome axis, giving it a lamb brush appearance. And the pair of loop represents the active DNA synthesizing RNA. Seventh point is loops are equivalent to puffs in salivary gland chromosomes. So these loops are like uh, Balbiani rings of uh, salivary gland chromosomes which represents the active DNA synthesizing RNA. So here in the first picture you can see that this is one chromosome showing uh, loops and these loops are active DNA. Th this is the same picture showing loops, second picture. Third picture showing the bivalent, uh, uh, these two chromosomes undergoing chiasma formation and the loops here represent that. This is an enlarged view. Similarly, you can see that this cross shaped structure represent chiasma. The active DNA is in the form of loops and the loops are nothing but the active DNA forming. This is another view of the same picture. Uh, so, these two chromosomes represent the two homologues and the cross shaped structure represents the chiasma and the loops represent the active DNA. So, for this particular topic you can, re you can refer any genetics book to understand it better and for pictures you can uh, also refer uh, different web sources. So, see you in next lecture students. Thank you.